I think of nature as being a theater of the spiritual world. When I think about what I'm doing as a photographer, if I feel that I have an image that's really going to be compelling, I believe it gets its quality by resonating with something of the human spirit. My name is Feodor Pitcairn. They call me Feo, and it wasn't until years later that I discovered that Feo in Spanish means ugly. <laughs> did I? I didn't outline the three careers, did I? Okay, three careers. Uh, the first in the financial world, the second career as a filmmaker, underwater filmmaker, and my third career as a fine art photographer. From the get-go, I always loved the ocean. It was one of those wonderful places that begged me back over and over again. Filmmaker and ocean conservationist Feodor Pitcairn set out to capture the places, creatures, and great events that make the ocean a magical place for him. So we got our first exhibit in Smithsonian, which was called Galapagos Born of the Sea. Then you might remember that movie, March of the Penguins. I got intrigued with the possibility that we might be able to do a movie that had a somewhat similar theme about the life of a mother humpback and a calf. We went to French Polynesia. We got totally into their trust. We were able to get close-up shots of the calf actually nursing. This had never been seen before by the whale researchers. On top of that, Meryl Streep came along and she said, I would love to narrate this film. And she did that absolutely no charge because she believed so much in the project. What a wonderful career, 20 years in the filmmaking. And I said, but you know what? This is, this is backwards. I got to go back to my first love. That's still photography. So come 2011, career number three. My third trip to Smithsonian making the pitches gave them a number of options and they opted for Iceland. Ultimately, they did a dream exhibit. So then the question, the exhibit closes, uh, what's next? <laughs> what are you gonna do? I had a friend who approached me from Abington Hospital. He was looking around for some local photographers to put something in this rather sterile environment. We had one person, it was a man who had just had open heart surgery. And he said, walking down the corridor after my surgery gave me the will to live. And when you hear something like that, um, you know, it's almost a point of, of weeping. I'm just in my 84th year, and I think this is where I want to build out my third career, doing this stuff. Another one of my beliefs is that if you have a passion to do something, probably one of the most important things is not to be discouraged. Everybody has a talent. And if we can overcome our ego in the sense of being proud of our accomplishments, but look back a little bit more perceptively at what we have been given and seeing that a talent is really a blessing, then uh, it all becomes clear as to, you know, why you're doing something and why, for example, there's some purpose in making an interview of the kind that I'm making now. Purpose and use are, are really connected words. And I'm just so happy that I can get up in the morning every day and be excited about what's next. <laughs>